Yeah, and I can see if she can do first name. We didn't know it was going to sound like every night. I had a fair idea it would be popular because it was so... Uh, we did, we did a really good job of making it welcoming and making it different from everywhere else. Like this leg room upstairs and the tables and chairs downstairs, all of that stuff. And the screen is beautiful. And the curtain work, we actually have a curtain for open and close. And, um, and you're in a lovely setting. Son of Rambo, take two. Since January, we've been doing one a month for 35 mil. That's just kind of nice. No, well, yeah, I mean, a lot of cinemas, they got rid of all these for 35 mil. Because the digital was everything, you know, everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. digital, what it's all about now. This came about in the 1960s, apparently. So before that, you were literally doing changeovers. So you had to do each reel individually, which obviously was a lot of fun, but actually they, the projectionists went crazy because you imagine doing four shows a day. But nowadays, the whole feature is joined up on one spool, which contain up to um, 13 and a half thousand feet, which approximately runs for two hours and 20 minutes. One has to be very careful when making a join. It's so easy to put a film on either backwards or upside down or sideways. Maybe they were being lazy when they were breaking it down and they chopped it in the wrong place and maybe they put it back together again but they, they didn't, you know. I've had, I've had a film <laughs> with a rack in that I've missed and then looked yeah. out and thought, oh my God. The Rex was built in 1938. It was built for 1100. It closed out in 1988 when it was the whole world seemed yeah. to believe that the cinema was finished and the multiplex was springing up everywhere and that local cinema had, had it. Pretty upset about that actually because it's our, lo it's our local swan. Oh, it's, very, it's very sad actually. It's a yeah. very useful facility. You use it quite often, do you? Yes. It's a real shame. It is a shame. It is, yeah. In the 16 years it was closed, there was a campaign to open it and all that beautiful stuff. Yeah, about 13 years. Um, we managed to but open it again. In the end, they it's, it's the only cinema in the country that sells out practically every day. night. If you didn't have the extract fan going, yeah. um, after about 20 minutes, with the digital projector, it would turn itself off. Mm -hmm. so one of these would just explode. Right. So it was on the 35 mil and just left it on without the extract going. The lamp would, well, the lamp would pop after about 20 minutes, they tell me. That's the scope one. You can see it's the same kind of size as the 137, almost, a little bit bigger. Of course, you shoot with an anamorphic lens to mm. squash it all together. Yeah. And then, of course, you need an anamorphic lens. It wasn't on the bobbin, this thing very tightly. It was very loose on that. It's 
be very careful. Because the whole thing would just flop onto the, <laughs> to the bench and you're like... There's a much safer way of doing it and you just put the reel, you put the reel on there. And that would just sit on there and then you put that back. And clamp the reel in and that would stop. I mean, we all love cinema, we all love films, everybody loves films. I mean, you can tell by the audience that comes here. All shapes and sizes, all ages. And the film is magical, the film has always been magical since it was invented. Anyway, enough.